What's good, Beer Fam? This is Big Tone coming at you from Big Tone Productions, Beats and Feasts. You know what time it is. It's time for another cooking video. Today we're going to do something that I really, quite frankly, just kept putting off because it was such a hoopla and a bandwagon to jump on this new Popeye's chicken sandwich craze. So I've just been kind of putting it off, but today we're going to do it. Um, I'm going to do something a little different. I'm going to do the copycat version of the Popeye's chicken sandwich, then I'm going to do Big Tone's chicken sandwich. Just do a little bit of comparison and, you know, see which one turns out. But uh, anyway, if you like the video, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, turn on your post notifications, make sure you share the video, and hey, let's get started with the chicken sandwich. This recipe is quite simple. Um, it's just a chicken sandwich. How hard could it be? But it does take a little bit of preparation. So the first thing um, that you have to do, which I've already done overnight, is I've already, you gotta, you're using chicken breast. If you're using chicken breast, you definitely gotta tenderize it. So the tenderizer, I've got it here in buttermilk. It's been sitting overnight, as you can see. Got my buns. I'm using these bro, um, those brio style buns. Got some pickles. I'm not using dill pickles. I'm using bread and butter pickles. My choice. You can just choose what you want to. Got some mayonnaise. This is a little bit of um, vinegar. This is for the Big Tone sandwich anyway. Uh, some sriracha, which is for the Big Tone sandwich. You got some cayenne pepper, ground paprika. Slap your mama if you don't know about it. You better know. Um, just some regular old salt. Our pink Himalayan salt. Some um, black pepper. I got some brown sugar, that's going to be for the Big Tone Sandwich. Some flour, of course. And then I have Fire Bee Honey, which you can go over to firebeehoney.com and click on the link. And um, you use the promo code Big Tone and it will give you 5% uh, off. So go ahead and do that. That honey is awesome. I love it. And if you want to see the other video that I used it in, just click on the little tag at the top. It'll take you right there. I got some cornstarch, which is essential for this. That's about it. Those are the ingredients, guys. Let's get started putting this together. We need to get this chicken breast tender. I am using chicken breast. So it's going to take a little bit to get it tender. So what I've done is I've taken the two large chicken breasts, and I've actually pounded them out to make them a little bit more even because you want the cook time to be, you know, if you look at a regular chicken breast, it's thick on one end and thinner on the other. So, you want to pound out the thick end just so it has a little bit better chance of getting done all at the same time. But I've, I've got two chicken breasts here, and um, we're gonna go ahead and put this in some buttermilk. But first of all, I'm gonna take my three eggs, put them in a bowl, All right, so three eggs, and we're gonna beat this up just a little bit, break the yolks. And we're gonna set that to the side for just a second. Um, so the seasoning I'm gonna put on the chicken before I put it into the um, buttermilk is just simply pink Himalayan sea salt, Slap your mama seasoning. If you don't know about this, you better know. Go check it out. Some black peppercorn, and I'm putting some slap your mama um, hot sauce in there. But the seasoning that's going on the chicken is simply just going to be pink Himalayan sea salt, just a little bit. I'm gonna flip it over. Do the same thing to the other side. Put on some black pepper. my slap your mama that's occasion seasoning so it's got a little spice to it some other seasonings in there I'm gonna flip this over put my black pepper on here and my slap your mama on that one I'm gonna do the same thing to the other one bring this back over 
And I'm going to use about two cups of this buttermilk. And we're going to stir that up a little bit with the egg. And we're going to add about a tablespoon of hot sauce. Slap your mama. There we go. And we're going to stir that up just a little bit. Oh, it's smelling good. It's smelling good. So I'm going to take the first chicken breast that I've already seasoned up here. Put that right into the buttermilk. Make sure it gets nicely coated. And I'm going to season up the second one here. We're going to take that. We're going to put that right into the buttermilk as well. So, the buttermilk, of course, is going to help tenderize it. Now, a lot of people will say, let me clean up my mess just a little bit. A lot of people will say, but you can leave it in there for minimum two hours. I'm not going to say that. I'm going to say it needs to be in there, preferably overnight. If you got chicken breast, Minimum is going to be four to six hours. If you got chicken thighs, I'm going to say minimum two hours at that point. But for the most part, I'm going to leave it in overnight. So we're going to leave that in the buttermilk. We're going to cover it with some saran wrap, put it in the refrigerator. All right, so before I even get started over the oven, uh, over the stove top, I'm going to go ahead and create my, my um, mayonnaise based spread that goes on to the Popeyes copycat sandwich which I don't know if this is exactly what they use but this is what I'm using I'm using mayonnaise and just a little bit of sriracha sauce just a little bit sriracha and just a tad bit of slap your mama seasoning we're gonna mix that up here in the bowl Real simple sauce, it's mayonnaise based sauce, but it's got a little kick to it. We're gonna mix that up real good. Give it a little taste. All right, yeah, there we go. I'm gonna add a little bit more sriracha. Want a little bit more heat. Ah, there we go. Try another taste there. There it is. There's the sauce. Real simple sauce, mayonnaise, sriracha, a little bit of slap your mama seasoning. So we're going to set that aside and we're going to go over to the oven, get started with the uh, frying of the chicken breast. I had two chicken breasts that I uh, seasoned up, put in the buttermilk, and here they are. In the meantime, I've cut these in, in quarters or in half I should say. Cut them in half because these are quite large pieces. So I've cut them down in half as you can see they've been in the marinade overnight. Cut them down so I got four quarters here. It's going to make four sandwiches. So I just wanted to let you guys see that because the chicken breasts were quite large and you know no need of wasting it on one sandwich and you can make four. Alright so I got my AP flour right here in the container and I'm going to add my cornstarch to it. This is an essential part of the dish. I'm gonna add a little bit more there, it's not quite enough. Cornstarch is gonna bring the crispiness to it. So let me add a little bit more here. There we go. And to that, we're gonna add a little bit of cayenne pepper. A Little bit of paprika. I would love to have some smoked paprika, I just didn't have any. But you can use either or. And we're going to add a little bit of slap your mama, not a lot. Because I've already got the cayenne in there. Just a little bit of slap your mama seasoning. A tad bit of salt. Now remember, I've already seasoned the chicken breast itself. So I'm just doing the flour here, a little bit of pepper.
All right. We're going to mix this all up together here real good without making a mess. That cornstarch is really light. It likes to fly everywhere. I'm going to use a better mess method so I don't make a huge mess. Just going to put the lid on it, shake it up a little bit. There we go. There we are with our seasoned flour and cornstarch there. I'm going to take a couple of the chicken breast right out of the marinade here. Or I should say the tenderizer. Much off as we can. And you see I'm popping them in there. There's one. And there's two. But anyway, we're just going to season this up and make sure every portion of it gets nice and saturated with the flour and cornstarch. That, that cornstarch brings us real lightness to it. Going to make it extra crispy. Alright, so we got our two pieces well, well covered here. Alright, we're going to go on over to the stove. Throw these in the deep fryer. Right, so I got my oil on here on the stove in my Copper Chef pot as you can see. So we're going to take the chicken breast and we're just going to start it in here. So I'm bring it around just a little bit before we um, drop them in. Drop that one in there. I'm trying to be careful so they don't stick together. I got my own about 350. Probably going to take about five to six minutes, maybe seven minutes per side. Seven minutes in here. All right. We got them in. We're going to get those frying up. In the meantime, we're going to come over here and we're going to do the glaze for the big tone chicken sandwich. The big tone chicken sandwich is going to have a fire bee honey glaze on it. So I got about a half a cup of fire bee, fire bee honey, spicy honey. And I'm going to add about a quarter of a cup of uh, just regular old household vinegar to that. And I'm going to add one heaping tablespoon of brown sugar. And we're just going to cook that down just a little bit. I am going to add just a little bit of water to this as well. But the water is going to be in, in conjunction with the little bit of cornstarch to bring the thickness back. Alright guys, so my glaze has come to a little bit of a simmer here, so I'm going to pour them in my, my slurry to thicken it up a little bit. We're going to watch it transform and get thick here. Then I'm going to turn it down really low, just let it set. Chicken breast has been in there for about six minutes, seven minutes. So I'm going to take it out. I'm going to check the temp. Should be somewhere around 167, 168, 168. There we go. Looks perfect. Always check the, the thickest part of the breast. Oh yeah, we're good and done. So I'm going to take these two pieces out and place them here on a paper towel and we're going to put in the other two alright another six seven minutes on that we'll be good to go all right, guys, so I got my chicken there. I got my toasted buns here. You got to toast your buns. Got to toast them. So we're going to put this together a little bit. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put on my mayo, my spicy mayo that I created. There go. Now this one here, I'm just going to put a little bit on the bottom bun. But on this one, I'm going to do it on bottom and top. This is the Popeye's. Um, copycat. So I'm putting on both. There we go. Move that out of the way. 
The next thing we're going to do for that is we're going to put our layer of pickles down. If you guys have had the chicken sandwich from Popeyes, they got a layer of pickles down. Don't know how many they used, but I'm going to put four down because that's what I like. And like I said, these are bread and butter pickles. If you want to use regular dill pickles, be my guest. You want to make your own, be my guest. All right, so we got our four pickles down. Now on this sandwich here, we're just putting on the chicken breast. Just like that. And we're gonna put on the top. And we're gonna scoot that to the side. Just like that. Now this one is gonna have a little extra step. I've got my glaze here. It's gonna take the chicken breast and we're just gonna saturate it in the glaze. Look at that. Hoo-hoo! Just saturated in the glaze. This is the big tone part of it. We're gonna take that out. Put that right on the sandwich. Just like that. Look at that. Look at that sandwich. And bring it in here for you. Look at that. Whoo! We're gonna close it up. And I'm using these brioche style buns. That's the closest thing that they got. Hey guys, <laughs> I'm gonna get that bite. So I don't know what you're waiting on, but that's what I'm waiting on. Popeyes ain't got nothing on me. So we got on this side we got the Popeyes copycat sandwich. And on this side we have the big tone sandwich. So I'm gonna do a little quick taste test. See which one I like better. Let me guess which one. Well, we're gonna start off here with the Popeyes chicken copycat. Excuse me. Oh Lord. <coughs> That tenderizing the chicken overnight, I suggest overnight. Make sure you do that. Oh my lord, that's tender. Good sandwich. Let's go with the big tone and see what we got. So this has the fire bee honey glaze on it. Excuse me. Lord, both of them's good, but this fire bee honey makes the difference, guys. It makes the difference. If you want some of this, make sure you go to the first link in my description. It'll take you over to the website. You get five percent off a of purchase, guys. Hey, give it a try. If you like this video, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, turn on your post notifications. Make sure you share the video, guys. And hey, this is Big Tone signing off. Peace.